sorry for the grubby look, but the millipede was out, so I thought I'd show you. I think she got some like calcium on her from the lettuce I put in there. Um, but yeah. Hopefully she's still doing okay. She most of the stuff I put in there she didn't eat throughout this winter so far, so that's probably her just I don't know, hibernating I guess. But yeah, she looks to be doing pretty lively and good. Like I said, I don't normally see her. She's usually hiding. Let's see if I can um, spray it down there for a more. I had this all completely wetted down. But, uh, yeah. That may sound like a lot, but that soaks up really fast in there. Um, let's check on Buttons. Buttons has been giving me an ache lately. <laughs> she's gotten kind of vicious. Not really vicious, vicious, I guess. You know, she's been kind of on the defensive level. And, uh, let's get her some more water as well. See how buttons is. See. Light helps focus a lot better. But there's buttons down there. And she, like I said, had been pretty uh nippy lately with me. Let's see if she's still nippy. You're okay, little girl. She doesn't seem to be as nippy as she was. I tried feeding her a roach, but she wouldn't take it. But, uh, watch me say that and she'll come around trying to get me now. But she's doing okay, otherwise, in her little attitude adjustment, or whatever. Um, let's see the OBT here. You can kind of see the OBT, I don't know if that'll... Focus. Yeah, the OBT still got a pretty big butt from the last two crickets at eight. I'm expecting another molt into this month. Because it's getting kind of big. You can kind of see it right there. See, he's got a pretty big butt. But yeah, expecting a molt soon. Um. I don't know if you can see these guys, they're kind of small. I don't think any of them are. Well, there's one right there. And the smaller ones. And they make all these little tunnels in there. There's one right there. There's a slightly larger one in there somewhere. And so the rotting leaf litter that won't focus on the camera. Yeah. They hide underneath that. Um, Let's see. I'm go get and give an update on Sebastian here. My little boy, he's thankfully doing good because I was worried that 
whatever had a There we go. Whatever had killed Lilith was going to get to him because he ate the same food. And so I'm not definitely going to get those little goldfish anymore. Um, just as a precaution. Um, I have learned with him he'll stop eating for like two weeks and that's for his shed. Two to three weeks he will actually stop eating before he sheds. So He has gone back to eating his pinky mice, so that's good. After a few weeks he went back, or a couple weeks, I'm not really sure how long it was exactly. I just know it was getting close to a month. And so he's doing really good. He shed kind of recently. He's a real pretty boy. Still getting bigger. I can't wait for him to be big. I'm still hoping if I can get just an albino female, that if I breed them I can still get granny baby, granite baby since he's possible head. But, you know, it might be kind of a... Uh, a rare deal if I do because he's the only possible hit but it'd be awesome to get at least a few because I would love to breed them as well all right let's put him back and I'll show you Miyuki who's still kind of a spazzy little girl so it's okay she won't... There we go. There we go. Um, she did shed not too long ago. Um, she looks really bright in this lamplight. There we go. Look at that cute little face. She's doing pretty good. Yeah, so I'm glad she's doing good as well. Cause she had, she also did eat some of the same things. So I'm thinking maybe poor little Lilith may have just had something wrong with her previously. I don't really know, which really sucks. Um, I'll show you Thor real quick if he's in a mood to be shown. Um, Thor is going into shed, so he. Hopefully, hopefully, um, sorry, just adjust, adjusting here, um, let's see, hi Thor, so he had this, uh, weird kind of discoloration on his head, shiny and not so shiny, I thought maybe it was stuck shed, but he shed all of the skin off his head last time, so maybe whatever that I guess it could be an issue. It doesn't seem to really be bothering him. But he doesn't like his head touch. He's always been kind of the shy snake. Most snakes like their head touch, but he doesn't really like it at all. But you can tell he's... Oh, goodness. Going into a deep shed because he's so... Come here. Let's see. Oops. Focus camera. There we go. You can see the how dull he is down there, so he's definitely going in the shed, but I cannot wait. Yeah, his eyes are blue too, but I cannot wait till he sheds. Hopefully the he'll look more evenly. Not so discolored or whatever. Because he's had that little issue for a while now and Yeah, doing this with one hand is fun. Right down more for him right now. Let me set down the camera for a second. And so he's doing really good. Everyone's still eating. The bug polythons are still eating. I've heard sometimes they go off feed. Mine have not yet. So that's really awesome. Let's get a look at 
sorry. Let's get a look at Aida here. He is getting, I think, huge. And I know I never actually showed a video of him when he was tinier, but I have a photo, and you can tell he's definitely that growing that foot long that he has. Hi, Aida. There we go. There's my pretty boy. Oh, they're both my pretty boys, but he's really just a baby. He acts like a little cuddle bug. Little cuddle bug. And he's not shy at all. He's not usually rolling up away from the camera. Thor used to strike at the camera, now he just doesn't really care for it. I need it to kind of... He's pretty photogenic. He's got... I think he's really shiny. I think they just look really pretty and shiny. This is my boy. Yeah. He's uh, over two feet. Just over two feet. He's as long as uh, Alice's anyway. And Alice was 30 inch shed when I got her her first shed with me. So yeah, this is Aida. Hi Aida. This is the one I always cuddle up with. And he'll usually, at, at night time, when he gets really restless on occasion, he'll end up coming out and crawling around my neck for about 20 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on how restless he is. And then he can calm down enough to go back in his hide and sleep or whatever he does. But, um, yeah, so he's doing really good. And now he doesn't want to back in. Yeah. Um. I don't think Danny is out. Danny has been hiding for a few days. Although I did put another roach in for Danny. So. Um, Danny the Pac-Man frog. In case anyone had forgotten who Danny was. Because. I never say really what they are, I just name them by what I call them. Um, Xander here was not eating for a little while, but he does that. Um, he just ate a roach, you can see the wings down there, he abandoned. I gotta clean that out. Um, Xander, my bald butted bee baggins, he's good. Uh, I love him. You know, I'm glad he's still alive and everything. I wouldn't mind getting him a girlfriend, actually. Um, if anyone knows someone that get me a girl, like, I don't know, for cheap, or if they have one I just don't want, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, I kind of overpaid for him, I won't even tell you how much, but yeah. He's awesome. Let's see if we can take a look at, uh, I don't really know where she is. Oh, I think I see her. Let's go ahead use I'm not gonna bother Nyx too much but Nyx is down there she got this habit of hiding behind her hide instead of in it now so that's just what she does but she's doing good she's eating roaches now nice meal she gets those once a week um, 